Well, greetings all of you out there in YouTube land. And a special shout out to Brad Schwint um, in Blythe, California. Brad, I'm doing this for you, even though it's going to go up on my YouTube channel. And um, people who see this are going to be freaked out uh, because it's going to follow, you know, about 12 lessons on Virginia Woolf's Mrs. Dalloway. But uh, there's not much I can do about that. Um, anyway, so uh, I also need to uh, give an acknowledgement to um, to Phil Wharton. So Phil Wharton of uh, Active Isolated Flexibility fame is the guy who um, uh, who developed this, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to work with him some years ago, and um, uh, wrote up actually a script on something that appeared on one of his videos. At least I think I never saw the video in final uh, version. But anyway, so what this is um, is going to do is to give you a, um, a range of exercises to help unbind your feet. So uh, I'm just going to kind of, instead of giving you like the rationale and all that kind of business, I'm just going to jump in and, uh, and take you through the routine. So uh, what you're going to do is begin with, um, and you can see my feet in all their glory, um, you know, horrific runner's uh, toenail gone and all that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's a cost of doing business. All right, so what we're going to start off with is this. Uh, you're going to take your um, your four toes here, and then with the other other hand, you're just going to pull pull the toe back, pull the toe back, pull the toe back, and so we'll do this six times. Four and five and six, and now I'm going to isolate uh, Morton's toe. So I'm going to pull back. Pull back, pull back three, four, five, and six. Uh, now, uh, bird toe. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, ring toe, of course. One. To, and all I'm really doing here is is I'm pulling the toes back until I feel you know some some resistance. I'm going to sort of um, pull through the resistance a little bit. Uh, there's lots of ligaments and, and muscles here in the feet. So I'm doing uh, baby toe. Um, and and what this um, you know when you think about what your what your feet are doing all day in the shoes. I mean they're just totally uh, bound up and cramped up and whatever. Um, I would recommend that to, you know as much as possible everyone sort of walk around barefoot. Uh, because it'll allow your feet to kind of, um, you know, spread out, you know, and grab the ground uh, with your toes as your feet were intended to do. Okay, so now I'm going to um, I'm going to hold the four toes um, back, and now I'm just going to to bend the toe forward one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and five and then six. Okay, now I'll do this to Morton's toe. And again, just by isolating the other toes, it just provides that contrast, um, sort of that antagonist action. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go to uh, uh, middle toe. One, two, and I, and I guess really you, um, you, you can, I leave her down pretty um, um, pretty assertively on these. Let's go to ring toe um, because I mean I guess until I feel a bone snap, then I feel like I'm just really kind of uh, loosening up the the fascia and all the connective tissue and stuff like that that's been bound by um, you know kind of walking around in shoes. And so now I'm gonna um, uh, take a little toe and then pull it down. And five and six. Okay, so um, then I'm going to um, I'm just going to pull, kind of pull the toes, uh, pull the toes apart, and I'm going to kind of waggle them um, a little bit here. Uh, again, pulling them apart, and I'm going to do that for the uh, second, and third toe. So I'm pulling them uh, apart, as you see here, with those horrific toenails. You could get if I walked into a pedicure uh, shop, you know. I mean, th there'd be a mass exodus, I'm sure, from the technicians. They'd, they'd uh, change careers basically immediately. Um, okay, so middle to um, 
ring toe and I'm just going to try to spread these guys out and then while they're spread out I'm just going to um, work them a little bit okay and then um, then here uh, nice and spread and you know going to work those guys back and forth up and down um, as well okay so like I said all I'm trying to do really here is to kind of unbind uh, unbind the feet okay so now I'm going to um, just take my foot and I'm gonna like spread it like uh, like I'm kneading bread okay so I'm gonna start I start at the top and you know open up try to open up the feet and you may think that you're not really making much progress but but even just little incremental movements in the feet are gonna help you to um, uh, gain some uh, some mobility some range of motion okay so so as I've opened it up in, in sort of this this fashion, now I'm going to turn it down. Um, this one feels real good. Okay, so you, uh, you probably can't hear all that um, snapping and crackling and whatnot. So that's not bones. That's just uh, connective tissue. Okay, so and then I might you know just like push along the t with my thumbs. I'm going to push along the top of the foot and really kind of open that guy up. Okay, and then we start to get to the toes. All right. And uh, what's happening with me right now, anyway, just thought I'd share, is uh, my calf is cramping like mad. Um, I have to lean that forward a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, so, so now what I'm going to do is take the foot, and I'm going to turn it up. And I'm going to, so I, I rested on my, uh, rested on the um, opposite side. You can't see this, I guess I'll move. Um, resting on my opposite shin. And I'm just going to turn the, the foot up here. And I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up. Okay. So I'm just trying to um, to get some. Uh, say we're sitting outside with like with the kids and stuff. He's saying I'm trying to give them at the bottom of my foot some sunlight. So I just want to turn again. Turn that up here. We're getting some like um, um, you know kind of rotational uh, type stretch here. Okay. Um, now then um, I'll do this. So I'm going to run. Take my thumb. Okay. Take my thumb right here at the uh, at the attachment to uh, the plant. The plantar tendon attaches here at the old heel bone. So I'm just going to run my uh, thumb along uh, that ligament that, that goes with uh, that first metatarsal. And then once I get to the bottom of the um, the metatarsal head, you can feel that attachment there. Um, it's a little bit kind of woody and and uh, and whatnot. So I'm just going to um, just drive that thumb. Um, up under there at the attachment, you know, and then I'm going to keep going and come up here to uh, so if you can see like this the pad in this area um, Should I like what should I do? Should I zoom in a little bit here? Ooh, how about that? Um, so I'm just going to now try to like work, you know, the thumb under the um, under that that head there so you know I can keep I can keep coming in this direction and um, you know, pause there and go all the way up. You know, okay. So now I'm going to start again at the heel, and now I'm going to um, to Morton's toe. So I'm going to run that thumb along. And you can see this; it's just jacking him up, something fierce, because I haven't done this in a while. So, so now I get to the uh, to the base of that metatarsal head. I'm going to dig in some, and then just continue on up the um, that bone, and then right there. Um, okay, so. Digging in there, yep. Okay, might go ahead and, uh, and extend. Um, all right, so let's see. It's gonna be tough camera angle here, but um, anyway, so I'm going from the middle now. I'm going to the middle toe, and, and really, uh, I'm only doing this for my own delight at the moment because uh, you, you get the picture as to where we're headed. Um, so I'm just gonna dig in there, and that that hurts a little bit, but um, yeah, what are you gonna do? So now I'm going toward the um, uh, right there. The oh mercy. All right, so digging in, and um, okay, so now I'm gonna have to switch hands. So I'm going here to the uh, to the ring toe, and really digging in nice there. So once I get to that uh, where that ligament attaches, then I'm really gonna dig in some. Now come up over the bony ridge, and then toward the base of that toe, and uh, my feet really are horrific looking. Um, and then here to the um, head of that toe. 
right? And then now we're gonna do the last, okay? So we're just going to push along the edge um, of that last toe, uh, right up to the um, where that ligament attaches, and I'm gonna kind of dig my thumb in there, okay? And then on up to the base of the toe itself, and um, and so forth. Okay, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and just, and like, if, I, if you've got the kind of flexibility to do this, so I'm going to take the, um, the palm of my hand, I'm going to put it under the toes here, and now I'm just going to, like, lever back. You probably can't see a lot of movement, but um, I'm feeling a lot of movement in there. And so it's, it, this is now going to stretch, like, Achilles tendon. Sorry, Achilles tendon is going to take you all the way up to the uh, soleus. And, of course, you know, the soleus attaches uh, back here at the back of your tibia. And the old gastroc comes in and wraps around that in a loving embrace. So if I'm just going to pull back on this, and I'm going to pull back on this. And so I'm really kind of trying to increase my range of motion. I'm, I'm working the um, the calf, uh, the soleus, and this guy as well. Okay, so I'm just pulling back. Okay. All right, and now last thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to I'm going to pull forward. I'm gonna pull forward on this guy, like the whole foot comp, the whole foot together. Okay. Pulling that in. All right. Oh, okay. So, and then you, know, you can add in some stuff. I just like honestly rubbing down, going down each each toe, just as much attention as you can give uh, those little feet. I mean, everybody knows that uh, a good foot massage is. Um, uh, you know, worth its weight in gold. And so this is basically you uh, giving yourself a foot massage. And so what, what I can tell is that, the, that, that there's a huge difference in, in how, um, like how much more mobility I've got in this right foot than the left one. And the left one feels totally jammed up. So uh, quite frankly, I'm not going to I'm not going to burn uh, YouTube video time on this because this foot is way worse. Look at that toenail. It's a, it's a horror. Uh, but you're basically going to be doing the same sort of thing, okay? And that is that um, you're going to hold these toes back. And now I'm going to, um, and I don't have very much range of motion in this toe at all. I had turf toe on this one uh, once upon a time. So, you know, so I'm going to, again, take it down, you know, six times, okay? I release and then I bend down. I release and I bend down. Okay, and then I'm going to... Um, I'm isolating Morton's toe, and bend down, and bend down, and th those are these are kind of the key exercises. So I want to want to hold these other ones back, and then isolate uh, the individual toes. And so once you've done that, okay, and so six times for each toe, I'm just going to truncate this a little bit. So there's ring toe, doing it a couple more times. I'm only really pulling down on that guy. Now you can hear him squealing, um, and then a little toe like that. Okay, and then again, you're, you're going to hold, I'm holding these guys with my right hand, and now I'm going to pull back on, on this. Now, I can feel that stretch all the way through here, and you can probably see uh, how, the, uh, how the musculature, uh, and I'm not a physiologist, so I'm not going to give you the muscle names or whatever, uh, but you can see how that kind of activates right there. So each time I pull back on it, it's just a beauty. Okay, and I'm going to do the same, uh, the same sort of thing. Here and, and really, th this stretch here, uh, where you're going, you know, sort of toes toward the um, pulling the toes toward the shin. When you think about it, this is where the range of motion is really uh, the most impeded, uh, impinged rather by the uh, by the shoe, because your foot just tends to be like a you know like a claw in there, it's just, you know, totally bound up. And and so by allowing your toes to release and then pulling back on them, um, a helps to unbind them. And man, it feels really good too. Okay, so, so then again, you know, isolating the other ones and pulling back on these guys. And then I go through the same, uh, same routine, you know, where I'm put, pulling the foot this way, you know, a bunch of times. Okay, and I'm working from, uh, from the top to the bottom. And then I'm pulling the, you know, pulling the foot in this direction, like trying to open up. Okay, and quite frankly, that's all, these are all the ones I can remember. Uh, and I don't think there really are any more, but um, you know. But while you're fooling around down there, of course you can um, you can always um, you know add stuff that you think makes sense. But again, you know, like we're spreading the toes out, you know, and, and this kind of business. And then I'm gonna um, you know I'm gonna waggle them like top and bottom. Anything you can do to increase the range of motion 
and your feet is awesome. And, um, you know, just like around the house, um, just walk around barefoot. The more barefoot walking you can do, the better. Uh, there's a, a bunch of research out there, and I, I don't have the, uh, the citations or anything, but um, the incidence of injury in unshod populations around the world is, is a fraction, a small, small, small fraction of what it is with, um, you know, with like the first world, okay, because it's mostly third world, um, you know, countries that uh, where people, you know, go around unshod. But I um, mean, it's, it's what these guys are designed to do is to bear weight and to um, and to make contact with the ground. Uh, you know, Gerard Manley Hopkins uh, wrote a nice little poem, uh, "God's Grandeur," where he talked about um, you know the foot doesn't feel now being shod. So, uh, so go ahead and um, you know, kick, take your shoes off, take your socks off, uh, do these exercises, and then uh, and then wander around out in your yard. Uh, barefoot and uh, and feel the earth. Um, all right, that's it. Hope you enjoy that.